Hi, my name is Courtney Despis. I'm Director of Education here with Trout's Fly Fishing. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the clinch knot. The clinch knot you'll use to tie your flies to your leader and or tippet on your rig. Moving through this, I have a part of, part of a carabiner here as well as paracord. My paracord in this example is gonna represent my terminal end of whichever material I may be using, whether that be leader or tippet. And this is representing the eye of the hook. So as we go to look through and go through the clinch knot, what we'll be doing is you're gonna take your tag end from the end of your rig and you're gonna place it through the eye of the hook of the fly. After you do that, you're gonna pull your tag in through. You're typically gonna look for an overlap of about six to eight inches. When you're first learning, be generous with yourself. Give yourself a longer overlap to allow for better use and less frustration when you're trying to figure out the dexterity of the different knots. After you overlap them, you're gonna simply take the tag end and you're gonna wrap your main portion of your leader four to six times is gonna be your typical amount. After wrapping, you're gonna take your tag end again and you're gonna bring it and feed it back through the opening directly next to the eye of the fly. Once fed, you're gonna hold your tag end against the eye of your fly with the fly in your hand and you're gonna pull from your rig end or the end that's connected the leader to the fly line and you're gonna pull while your wraps stack. At the end of your knot, you should have nicely stacked wraps. As you can see here, I only have two based on the thickness of this, but when you're out in the river and you're using your leader, you're gonna have a greater quantity of stacks because you'll be able to wrap more. Following that, you're gonna take your tag in and you're gonna trim it as close as possible without trimming your knot to allow the best drift and presentation subsurface to the fish. I have my leader in my left hand with my fly in the right. As I go to attach the fly onto my rig, I'm gonna bring the end of my leader through the eye of the fly. I'm gonna bring the tag end back onto itself to overlap anywhere from six to eight inches. Once I do this, I'm gonna to aim to wrap the tag end around the full end of the leader. Two, three, four, and in this case, I'm gonna do five wraps. Following that, I'm gonna bring the tag end back through the opening directly between my wraps and the eye of my fly. I'm gonna hold the tag end against the fly. I'm gonna lubricate my knot to minimize friction, friction and weakening of the material. And then I'm gonna pull on my leader end to allow the clinch knot to stack appropriately. At this point, I would take my nippers and I would cut the tag as close as possible without compromising my knot to allow the most natural drift subsurface for the fly. Thanks for following along with the clinch knot today. For more videos similar to this one, make sure to visit troutsflyfishing.com under the education section. See you next time.